the Stafford motor with built-in radio receiver model RX2 can be controlled either only by a radio transmitter or by both radio transmitter and a wall-mounted push-button switch. In case you would like to control it only by radio transmitter, you need to connect only the blue wire, the brown wire and the ground. In this case, the black wire and the grey wire are not to be connected to anything. In case you would also like to use a push-button switch, you need to connect all the wires in this way. After mounting the motor and fastening the rolling shutter, proceed as follows. Remember that each operation can be done with both the 594TX radio transmitter and the 593TX100 simple radio transmitter. Motor RX2 radio transmitter memorization. Remember that if there are more than one motor, they must be connected to the power supply and memorized only one at a time, otherwise there is the risk of memorizing more than one motor in the same radio transmitter. When you connect the motor to the power supply for the first time, it will make four small upward or downward movements. If the movements were upwards, press the up button immediately afterwards. If they were downwards, press the down button. Once the button has been pressed, the motor confirms with a short movement. The procedure is over. Warning: It is essential to remember that after the four initial movements, you need to press the up or down button within 15 seconds, otherwise the motor exits the programming mode with a double movement without having memorized anything. In this case, it is necessary to start all over again, disconnecting and reconnecting the motor to the power supply. Pay, pay attention, because until a radio transmitter has been stored in the memory of the motor, each and every time it is disconnected and reconnected to the power supply, it will make the four memorization movements waiting for a radio signal. Once you have stored a radio transmitter in the memory of the motor, then you can disconnect and reconnect the power easily, because the motor will no longer perform any memorization procedure and the radio transmitter will remain memorized forever without any problem. RX2 motor, slat tilting function, that is micro-moving the motor in small twitches. This function is very useful in lower rolling shutters because it allows, with the appropriate buttons, to tilt the slats according to your needs or to precisely adjust the rolling shutter. This function is deactivated as a factory setting and it is therefore set to level 1. Our advice is to activate it at level 2, that is with very small and precise movements. This is a way to proceed. Move the shutter to an intermediate position. Press the menu button on the back of the radio transmitter for 5 seconds until RS appears on the display. Press channel minus once and channel plus twice to dial the number 12, which is the number of the function. Press stop. The motor signals the current value that is 1, disabled. Press channel plus twice to define level 2. It may be possible to set up to level 5, but the micro movements would be wider. Now press stop and the shutter will signal the new value with small movements, in this case 2, finished. The same function can also be activated on the 593TX100 the simple radio transmitter. Move the shutter to an intermediate position. While holding down the stop button, press PROG on the back of the radio transmitter for about one second until the blue LED is solidly lit. Press UP once and down two times. Immediately afterwards press STOP. The motor signals the current value. Press down as many times as the number of the desired setting, for example 2. Press stop. The motor signals the new value. Finished. Now, in order to operate the motor in small twitches, just briefly press stop twice and then keep pressing the up or down button. 
reset by radio transmitter. It is possible to reset by radio transmitter both the motors with built-in radio receiver RX2 and the electronic motors RXE. Move the rolling shutter to an intermediate position. With the 594 radio transmitter, press and hold the menu button for 5 seconds until RS appears on the display. Now press channel minus twice and channel plus 9 times until you have dialed the number 29 on the display. Press stop. The display flashes and the motor makes 8 double movements. Wait for the rolling shutter to stop and then immediately press channel plus and channel minus at the same time for a few seconds until the rolling shutter makes a double movement. The reset is now complete. With the 593TX100 simple radio transmitter there is a similar procedure. Move the rolling shutter to an intermediate position. While holding down the stop button, press PROG on the back of the radio transmitter for about one second until the blue LED is solidly lit. Press UP twice and down nine times. Press STOP. The display flashes and the motor makes eight double movements. Wait for the rolling shutter to stop and press up and down at the same time until it makes a double movement. The reset is now complete. If there is no memorized and working radio transmitter, you need to reset the system by wire. To do this, first switch off the power supply. Connect the black wire and the grey wire to the brown wire of the motor and then connect all three of them to the face of the wiring system. The blue wire remains connected to the neutral of the wiring system. Switch the power supply back on again and wait 30 seconds until the rolling shutters makes a few small movements to indicate that the radio transmitter and all other possible settings have been deleted. Of course, the end strokes, which are mechanical, have not been altered. To start the memorization again, switch the power off and on again.